Top fragging is just not enough anymore. And most likely at some point, you felt the same thing. You were in the zone, entering the site, killing everybody, just to press tab and see your whole team dead. You ended up with almost 30 kills and your teammates with barely 10. What more can you do? I'm Kimmy, the manliest man with a girl's name, WestJet Europe edition, and in this video you will learn what more you can do when you've done everything. I'll share how to turn around the game and give you easy to apply advice that will help you win more games. So make sure you stick till the end, because the last things might be the most important ones, and you don't want to miss them. There's a book called How to Win Friends and Influence People that says to avoid arguments at all costs. At the end of an argument, everyone leaves thinking they won, but no one really does. It's pointless and consumes energy, especially in competitive games. If you're top fragging and someone keeps complaining to other teammates, to you, or about the enemy team, don't add more fuel to the fire. Just don't. If you're doing too much, trying to top frag, motivate the team, and lead them, relax a bit. Just focus on what you can do. People are weird and when they're on tilt, they're angrier at themselves for not performing than at someone constantly trying to fix it. By trying to motivate the team, you might inadvertently make them angrier by putting yourself in a higher position than them. If you see that they react negatively to comms or advice, stop at once. Keep the end goal in mind. I prefer an idiot to feel good about himself winning an argument while I still get closer to my goal than winning a pointless argument and losing the game. Next, don't complain to your team about how bad they're doing. Similar to the first point, what do you get out of it? If they talk trash, mute them and focus on your game. If someone is bottom fragging, don't bring it up to them, but also don't just compliment them for the sake of encouraging them. People can smell the BS. If you really want to encourage them, do it only when they actually do something good. People are like dogs sometimes. You only give rewards to dogs when they do something you want them to do. You don't just throw a biscuit to your dog for being useless on the couch. Same goes for the bottom fragger or toxic guy on your team. Next, take the role of the leader, not the victim. Don't be the guy who's good at the game but always complains about his situation. You're good. Everybody knows it. That's why you're watching this video in the first place. But there's another thing in psychology called negative self-talk. The more you put yourself down, the more that situation manifests into reality. The more you focus on the negative parts of the game, the more they stand out. I had a friend who was legit the dumbest person I knew in real life but was a genius at the game. He carried our team every time we played and at some point I asked him, Bro, how can you play this good almost every game? Don't you get annoyed by us not playing that well or not hitting Radiant yet? He took a moment and said, Bro, I don't know what you're talking about. These people are so slow, just go in there and shoot. If I die, I have time to watch some TikToks. He didn't overthink stuff. For him, this was just a stupid game where you kill as many people as you can every round before dying. And at the end of the day, that's all this game is. We just like to overcomplicate things, searching for the perfect routine setup, desk position and stuff like that. If you constantly focus on negative stuff and overthink every single scenario, you don't even have time to think about the game and don't complain or focus on the negative aspects. Don't compare yourself to other people. Who cares if someone at 13 is radiant and you're 17 and a diamond? Legit, who cares? That person could become a drug addict in the next few years and quit Valorant altogether. Your journey is different. Focus on what you can do every game. This happens to almost everyone who wants to be good at anything in life. Kobe Bryant had terrible teammates, but he still did 100% of what he could do and never complained. And if this issue happens too often, take a break. Legit, go outside, get some vitamin D, hit the gym, run in nature, things like that. This happens in all aspects of life, work, school, gaming. Eventually, everywhere you go, you will meet these negative people who aren't good at anything. With a strong mindset, you know how to tackle any issues and look at things with a bird's eye view. If you like this no BS real advice, not generic chat GPT answers, subscribe to the channel and join our Discord community. It's growing really fast and at 1k members we're going to have a giveaway. Arrivederci.